Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose the engines on two-cycle lawn and garden equipment. Although your lawn and garden tools may look dramatically different from each other, the engines inside of them are all pretty much the same. So it doesn't matter if you're working on a problem with your chainsaw or your trimmer, the steps used to diagnose the problem will be the same. The easiest way to go about diagnosing a problem with your two-cycle engine is to think of the engine in terms of systems. All of these engines have a fuel system that delivers fuel to the cylinder, an ignition system that creates the spark for the ignition, and a compression system that's made up of the cylinder and the piston. And by looking at these, we can determine what's wrong with the engine. So where do we start when making our diagnosis? That's simple. Start with the parts that are most likely to fail. On most engines, that would be problems with the fuel delivery system, mainly the carburetor, or the ignition system, mainly the spark plug. And we're going to show you how to diagnose each of the systems on these tools. Here I have a trimmer that won't start. My years of experience will tell me that when a trimmer won't start, the most likely place to look would be at the fuel delivery system. The fuel delivery system is made up of the fuel tank, the fuel lines that connect the tank to the carburetor, and the carburetor that mixes the fuel with air and delivers that mixture into the cylinder. A quick way I can diagnose a problem with the fuel delivery system is to spray a little starter fluid into the carburetor. So I'll remove the air filter cover. Remove the air filter and spray just a small amount of the starter fluid into the opening on the carburetor. Now I'll try to fire the engine. Okay, the engine fired for a moment and then it immediately died. That means that the starter fluid went through the carburetor and burned in the cylinder. When there was no more starter fluid to burn, the engine stopped. So that's a pretty good indication that we have a problem with the carburetor. It's not delivering fuel to the engine, so the engine can't run. Now that we know that our trimmer has a problem with the carburetor, to repair it, we'll need to clean or rebuild the carburetor. For more information about that, take a look at our videos about cleaning the carburetor and rebuilding the carburetor. Now we're going to take a look at the ignition system on a two-cycle engine. If you performed the fuel test and your engine still doesn't run, the ignition system would be the next most likely place that the problem would be. The ignition system is made up of the ignition coil and the spark plug, and we're going to show you some tests you can do to diagnose those parts. Here I have a Husqvarna chainsaw that won't start. I performed the fuel system test, so now I'm thinking there's a problem with the ignition. We'll start by removing the cover on the chainsaw to access the ignition coil and the spark plug. If you suspect a problem with the spark plug, honestly the easiest way to diagnose it is to simply replace it, because spark plugs are cheap. The alternative would be to test it with some testing equipment that you probably don't have laying around. If you replace the spark plug and your engine still won't fire, the next place to look would be the ignition coil. The coil is actually located under the housing of my saw here, and you can't see it. But you can see the flywheel and the magnets on the flywheel. The way that this works is as the magnets pass by the ignition coil, it energizes the coil, which sends a charge through the ignition wire and the boot to the spark plug. The spark plug then creates the spark inside the cylinder. To test the ignition coil on your engine, you're going to need one of those testing devices we mentioned earlier. These are spark testers. Contrary to popular belief, you can't accurately test for spark by removing the spark plug and seeing if you get an arc between the plug and the engine housing. That just doesn't reproduce the conditions inside the cylinder. You need a spark tester to do that. The spark tester gets installed in line between the ignition coil and the spark plug. I attach one end to the plug and the other end to the boot. With the spark tester installed, now just go ahead and pull on the starter rope and see if we get any spark. Okay. 
Had you not seen spark in the window, that would indicate that the coil was bad and needed to be replaced. For more information about that, take a look at our video about how to replace the ignition coil in a string trimmer. If your engine still isn't running, the next step would be to do a compression test. The compression test will tell us how much compression we have inside the tool's cylinder. To do a compression test, you'll need a compression gauge. Normal compression on a two-cycle lawn and garden engine is between about 90 psi and 110 psi. You shouldn't see anything over about 120 psi, and anything below 70 psi would be considered too little compression to operate. The compression tester fits in the spark plug hole, so I'll start by removing the spark plug. Now I can thread the compression tester into the hole. The tester has an o-ring on it. I just want to make sure I get a good seal between the cylinder and the tester. With the compression tester installed, now I can go ahead and pull on the starter rope and see what our compression reads. And you can see we're reading right about 90 pounds of pressure, which is good. If our compression tester had tested below 70 pounds, well, that would indicate some fairly serious problems with our engine. With a little luck, we might just need to replace the piston rings. But that could also be an indication of a much bigger and more costly problem, such as a damaged piston and cylinder. Using these techniques, you can now successfully diagnose any engine in your lawn and garden fleet. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to leave a comment or ask us a question.